Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Cormandy from the YouTube channel My Air Gun Reviews and today we're again uh, reviewing a couple of different pellets. This time it's going to be the Predator Polymag 177 caliber versus the H&N Hornet which is a brass tipped pellet. Let's take a look at them. I previously did a review comparing the Predator Polymag versus the Gamo Red Fire and the Predators uh, came out on top. Uh, much more accurate, uh, better muzzle velocity and accuracy. And this time we're going to do both uh, cost comparison plus uh, crony test for speed and uh, muzzle energy, uh, accuracy test, and a ballistics test. We're going to see how these pellets uh, react when shot into a 10 pound block of clay. So the uh, first thing I guess is the muzzle energy. Uh, five shots across the chronograph, the Predator Polymag 8 grains had a low of 899.8, .8, a high of 929.6, an average of 915.6 feet per second, an extreme spread of 29.79 feet per second, a standard deviation of 13.26. Uh, that's a fairly high extreme spread. Uh, the H&N Hornet 8.8 .8 grain pellets had a low of 898.9, a high of 908.7, an average of 905.2 feet per second, an extreme spread of 9.79 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 4.47 feet per second. So that gave the Predator Polymags 14.9 foot-pounds of muzzle energy on average, and the H&N Hornets had 16.02 uh, foot-pounds muzzle energy on average. So the H&N Hornets definitely win the uh, muzzle energy test and weighing uh, 0.8 grains uh, you're going to have even greater energy at 10 and 20 yards. Okay, now uh, I guess the we go to the accuracy test and I uh, will say I think the polymags got the better end of this uh, for two reasons. One, they're more accurate. Uh, two, I when I sighted in the polymags were hitting pretty much on center and the H&N Hornets were shooting way high so I did the Predator polymags and then I had to recite the scope to shoot the Hornets and I don't know if I shot enough uh, pellets uh, to let the scope settle in before I did the actual accuracy test and by then the wind picked up. So the H&N Hornets were slightly handicapped but I don't think anything factored in enough to bring them in as accurate as the polymags. So let's take a look at that and we'll go from there. Here is the uh, pattern for the Predator Polymags, and I don't know what happened to this pellet, but these are all right on top of you. And I know I took five shots here, but I can only see four holes, so I can see where the other pellet went uh, when I review the video. But the, I'd say the Predator Polymags definitely won that round. As you can see, the Predator Polymags were very, very close. Uh, one 
pellet did fly and it flew pretty good and my the pellet that I pulled out of this tin uh, to show the public has got an oblong skirt uh, that's one of the things that I hammered on uh, the poly mags in the first review is they pack too many pellets into this tin and you end up with a bunch of damaged pellets and it would just be a damn shame if you had one of those oblong skirts in the uh, breach when you're shooting at your uh, prey and uh, because as you could see the, that one pellet real, really did fly off and the other four were just dead on uh, the uh, H&N Hornets uh, were not that bad uh, but like I said I don't know that the scope was settled in all the way you know two pellets did go through the same hole and I wasn't even I couldn't see where I had shot the fifth pellet uh, the Predator poly mags are definitely more accurate uh, I'd like to see the H&Ns after shooting just a little bit more but probably what everybody wants to see is their penetration what happens when you shoot them at something and so we're gonna shoot both pellets at a 10 pound block of clay and I bought a 10 pound block of air dried clay and we'll set that up and uh, let's take a look at that okay now I've got a 10 pound block of modeling clay here I'm going to shoot the first pellet uh, the upper right side of the block that'll be the uh, predator poly mag I'm going to do this at fairly close range because uh, I want to make sure I don't get any ricochets or anything as you can see there's a big old TV in the background there <laughs> and the right side is going to be the predator poly mag that makes a heck of a hole now here comes the predator poly mag and now we're gonna cut them open and see what kind of damage these pellets did I've not found the pellets. Okay. There is the uh, H&N Hornet. The brass tip is still intact, not a tremendous amount of expansion, but that actually went a lot deeper into the clay. It went all the way to about here. I think I'm starting to see where little fragments have gone. You can see where it's fragmented right in here. I have found it. So this is what's left of the Predator Poly Mag. You can see it seems to be split in half. And this is the H&N uh, uh, Hornet. 
So we got much more travel. The, the Predator Poly Mag into about here, and you can see how far the uh, H&N Hornet went in. So we got a lot more penetration with the Hornet. So that's what we have. Okay, here is what remains of the two pellets. This is the Predator Poly Mag, and as you can see, it looks kind of like the skirt. The rest of it seems to have uh, disintegrated. And this is the H&N Hornet. And you can see it mushrooms some, but not enough. But it definitely, by keeping the shape, it definitely got penetration. So, uh, which pellet was the winner uh, in the ballistics test? Uh, I don't know that uh, you can name one or the other. It depends upon what kind of hunting you're going to do. Uh, if you're uh, going for a skull shot, and you want to scatter the brain, the uh, Predator Polymags will definitely do that, and they are accurate enough to do that. If you're doing a chest shot on something that you're going to be eating, whether it's rabbit stew or squirrel stew or, you know, a barbecued rat or squirrel, uh, the H&N uh, Hornets are the better. They penetrate a whole lot deeper, but I think because of the design, I don't think the hornets expand enough once they enter the cavity. And the uh, predator polymags, uh, they shatter into too many pieces. If you do a, a body shot with a uh, predator polymag, you're going to have lead fragments in your meat. I don't think you want to be eating lead fragments. So the uh, H&N Hornets are a little bit better there, but I would like to see them design the H&N Hornet in such a way that gives them a little bit more expansion. Uh, I, I think they would do a lot more damage if they expanded a little bit more. It's, I think it's too compact after it comes out, but you definitely get deep penetration as you could see with the clay where I pulled, finally pulled that whole pellet out. It was a lot deeper than what I measured. So, uh, and where I found the biggest piece of uh, the Predator Polymag was actually shorter than the uh, hole of the hole. Uh, so, you know, there's still a lot of little pieces in that clay that I could not find. It just, uh, that pellet uh, disintegrated. And this is all that's left, this little piece right here. So, which one is the winner? I think I got to give the uh, winner's check mark to the Predator Poly Mags because I, I think they're kind of equal. Uh, you know, one's got much more muzzle energy, much deeper penetration. One is more accurate. Uh, but uh, the H&N Hornets are really expensive. And I, I don't know a lot of people that are going to go out and pay. 23 or 25 dollars for a tin of 225 pellets whereas uh, for 13.99 you get 200 pellets from uh, Predator but again it, that's a little deceiving because you're going to end up throwing out if uh, you're really serious about your shooting you're going to go through all these pellets and you're going to throw away a bunch of them because they have bent skirts because they just packed too many of them in that tin so you know, it's really kind of a toss-up. You know, I think if the H&N Hornet was a little bit cheaper, uh, yeah, I think it would be a toss-up. You know, they're, each pellet has its own qualities, and uh, you know, but I guess overall, if uh, I'm probably going to go out and buy the Polymax. They're cheaper and a little more accurate, and uh, I don't do a lot of hunting for meat. With, not with pellet rifles, um, usually getting rid of varmints, and so the Predator Polymags will do just fine. 
So that's my review of the Predator Polymags versus the H&N Hornets. Thank you for watching.